Hello everyone, you welcome to Jam Vibes. It is so sad that South Africa is mourning Prince Mangosu to Butelezi. And uh, before he passed away, so many people were actually having it that he wasn't in great terms with a king, Mrs. Zulu. But then again, we have actually discovered that sometimes the media just inflates and amplifies things that they really don't have a perfect closure about. In today's video, King Mrs. Zulu has actually dropped a statement already, a goodbye statement through his popular fan page on Instagram and most importantly, I'm here to share that with you. Before that, kindly follow Jam Vibes, like this video and drop a comment after watching the entire video, please. I missed everything that is ongoing. I missed the crying, the mourning and the heartbreak that Prince Mangosutu Butelezi has actually left in the hearts of so many South Africans already. King Mrs. Zulu finally drops a statement and he actually posts a picture of himself and Prince Butelezi and has this as caption on IG and I quote, in this moment of sorrow, we extend our deepest condolences to the royal family and all those affected by the loss of Prince Mangosu to Butelezi. His legacy and contributions will forever be remembered. Rest in peace, Prince Mangosu to Butelezi. This has touched the hearts of so many people, especially those who actually thought that, yes, the king and the prince weren't in good terms. And even if they weren't in good terms, like they always say, the only main medium, natural medium, that brings people together is life and death. The page is actually tagged in their bio fan page dedicated to His Highness King Mrs. Zulu, son of King Goodwill Zolatini, follow to see his latest activities and news. Now, Prince Mangosutu Butelezi sometime around August 1, 2023 was reportedly in the ICU and at the time he was 94 years old because right now he passed away at 95 years old. Of course, Scroller Africa reported that according to sources close to the family and the Inkata Freedom Party, Prince Butelezi actually lost the ability to speak at some point. Speaking to the citizen as well around a Wednesday at the time, Butelezi's spokesperson Van der Meres said, 94-year-old at the time IFP founder was readmitted to the hospital on Tuesday. As previously indicated, Prince Butelezi underwent a procedure for back pain management following which he was discharged from the hospital. However, when his back pain did not subside sufficiently, he was readmitted for further treatment and recovery. He has since developed a complication and therefore remains in hospital at this stage to receive the necessary care. The duration of his hospital stay will depend on how fast his body can recover from the complication. It is very unfortunate that he finally could not recover from the complication and today we are all mourning. We are crying the loss of a legend, the loss of a fighter, somebody who impacted so much the South Africa that we actually see today. South Africa is a beautiful land, beautiful country that so many people always want to visit. That is why there are so many foreigners in South Africa because of the better opportunities, the good people, the culture, the tradition, the music, the politics and everything is just so beautiful in SA compared to most other African countries. Hence, it is a breeding ground for so many foreigners and a loss as this one is a very heartbreaking one may he so rest in peace and may his family accept a wholehearted condolences also the routine test and recovery situation of the prince actually sparked controversy and talk on the media following his hospitalization around you know like two months ago or is it a month ago stuff like that his spokesperson van der Meeres said he was not in a critical condition he was merely admitted for routine tests he reviewed, he underwent a small procedure for back pain management. Although he was discharged, he unfortunately needed to be readmitted for further treatment. Butelezi, who was born in 1928, turned 95 on August 27. He beat COVID-19 in August 2020 and again in, and again in December 2021. He was also hospitalized with hypertension in January 2022. And now he is no more with us. May you so rest in peace, guys. And in the comment section, you will tell me what you think. Leave your last lovely message to Prince Butelezi. 
Do want to take good care of yourselves. I love you from the bottom of my heart.